Hello everybody and welcome to my 15th Visual Basic in Excel tutorial and this tutorial is going to continue looking at while loops and using them to copy data from one sheet to another sheet so here we've got sheet 1 and sheet 2 and they've both got the same information on but sheet 1 has only got is the only one that's got the information at the moment and we want to copy it over on onto sheet 2 and so uh, if I bring up my editor and create a new module and I'm going to call it submit right. and then we need where a variable that dictates where the data starts so dim counter as integer and then counter equals two because the counter's on the second row down uh, that we want it to be. If we stick another row in then we can set this equal to three. Uh, but it's normally best off if your two things match because otherwise you have to have a multiple variable also say then we need a while loop. So do while and we want it to go down the data until it gets to a blank space. So uh, if we do while this workbook dot sheets sheet one dot cells and we wanted to look at the cell in the row counter and then the column one and dot value and we want it to keep going uh, whilst it doesn't equal nothing that's the easiest way to do it, say if it equals something is say it doesn't equal nothing and you could also use what's known as a do until loop which I find is normally a little bit better for this situation do until and you can have instead of having do while it equals something you can have do while do until it equals nothing and then this will look down at the cells until it finds something that's nothing and then it will stop. Uh, so that's a useful one to remember until it's exactly the same as a while loop except it's looking for it keeps going if the, this statement's false rather than if this statement's true and we want the end of our loop and then we also need something to um, increment our counter value by because at the moment uh, I'll show you now if I go into here and if I run this macro then it's just going to keep going it's never going to stop it's going to put us into an infinite loop which uh, it isn't something that we want and sometimes can end up crashing your program so and it should be alt and pause to exit the program Okay, so running that <laughs> um, macro with an infinite loop just uh, crashed Excel for me. So this emphasizes the point of making sure you don't have infinite loops. And uh, I do the mistake, so you don't have to. Uh, just, yeah, make sure it's incrementing. Uh, incrementing means adding one to this value. So every time it does the loop, we want counter equals counter plus one and this will stop it from doing an infinite loop and crashing a program. I'm also going to take this opportunity to emphasize the importance of saving your mac uh, workbooks before running your macros unless of course your macros to save the workbook but um, and this just ensures that your macros aren't going to, you know, do what my macros do and uh, crash your program. 
because uh, I had to write all this out again. So just put if you're using a number value, use incrementation to put it up by one. Or if you're using any other statement, just make sure at some point it's gonna change to exit the loop. So this is gonna now with the counter, it's gonna count down the cells and once there's nothing in a cell it's going to stop so we wanted it to not just count down them because that's not much use we wanted to copy the, the cells across at the same time so that's pretty simple we just want this workbook dot sheets sheets two dot and I want to use range for this because I want to copy the whole line and I'm going to use concatenation to merge the strings together use so I can have counter and uh, counter and the letter so it's going to count through the range as well so comma and then we want it to go to D and concatenate with counter close bracket dot value and then we can pretty much just copy this because the, both the worksheets are exactly the same and put it equal to uh, we just want to change the sheet 1 to sheet sheet 2 to sheet 1 ok and then let's run this now so run and sheet 2's got everything that sheet 1 had on it um, if we put another entry in here, let's put uh, Bruce and uh, he can be 4 foot 12 and let's put, uh, he likes dinosaurs Right, if we run it now, run, it's only copied across the three, it hasn't copied across Bruce, uh, Paul Bruce, and that's because there's a gap here, so it's gone down, it's got to here going, oh, there's a gap, so I'm going to stop, and it doesn't check the rest of them. So, uh, if you're going to use this in a sheet to uh, submit entries to another sheet, then make sure that you don't have any gaps because it's not going to copy them across and I don't want it to just copy them across I want it to delete the ones there at the same time so I'm going to get it to go uh, well I want this range but on sheet 1 and I want to make the value of it equal to nothing. Uh, there are different things you can use to get rid of the value. You can like you can use clear, but I don't like to use clear because it gets rid of all the formatting of the cells as well. So just keep in value uh, equals nothing, and then that just changes the value of the cell rather than all the formatting of it as well quite annoying if you've uh, spent ages formatting all your cells but um, so if we run this now F8, run and it's got rid of them and it's put them on sheet 2 which is brilliant so what happens then when we do it again so we've got another group of people run and it's overlapped them now generally for this kind of submission uh, macro you don't want it to just submit it over the top of the other data you want it to go down and uh, submit it after it so if we go back in here the way to do this is to do another loop like this to find the bottom of sheet 2 so we can just use counter again in fact so let's do do until Let's just copy the whole the whole loop. Right, 
say we don't want that we just want the counter we just want to find out when the end of the uh, sheet 2 is and um, we're actually going to have to use a different counter for this so let's put a counter 2 because I just realised we need it still so dim counter comma counter 2 as integer and I'm running out of time so I'm going to go a little bit faster say so counter 2 equals 3 and then this is going to go to the end of the sheet until it equals nothing and then we've got a value for counter 2 that we can then use to copy into here say value on sheet 2 of counter 2 and counter 2 and this will copy whatever it is onto wherever the last one of there is um, and then we want to increment it each time it does this, so counter 2 equals counter 2 plus 1 because otherwise it's just going to keep submitting them all onto the same uh, one so uh, let's run this now so let's get these back again over here and alt F8 run and it's added them onto the bottom and we can keep doing this and we can do it with as many ones as we like so uh, let's do it with like 18 alt F8 run go over to sheet 2 and they're all on there that's brilliant and everyone loves ice cream and ping pong so this is really useful for quite a few things and in the next tutorial I'm going to show you uh, one of the main things I use it for um, which is to do with opening up another workbook and copying it into a separate workbook. So thanks for listening and I hope to you catch in soon.